Today we will take a look at brand new wireless microphone system Comica Boom XD. There is a couple of versions of this system and in this video I will show you version D2 with one receiver and two transmitters intended mainly for mirrorless and DSLR cameras. Please know that I am not an audio expert, so just like my other reviews of audio equipment, this will be a user review. Boom XD system comes in a very nice package and there is a lot of stuff in the box. As I mentioned, with D2 version you will get one receiver and two transmitters. Besides that you will get a love mic, two micro dead cats for the integrated microphones, TRS to TRS cable for connecting the receiver and the camera, TRS to TRRS cable for connecting the receiver and a smartphone, USB-C cable for charging the devices, a pin for resetting the devices and very well written manual. Boom XD is similar concept as Rode Wireless Go. Just like the Wireless Go, there is an integrated microphone in the receiver. This is very practical in various situations. You can use it basically as a low mic without wiring yourself or somebody else. You can even use it as a reporter's microphone. Of course, there is 3.5mm mic input jack on both transmitters, so we can use it with regular lav mic. There will be an audio quality sample later in the video. All units are the same size, they are very small and they weigh basically nothing. The build quality of all units is actually very good. They are made of plastics, but they feel solid and well made overall. All three devices have a clip which can be used as a cold shoe mount which is extremely useful. There is also a headphone output on the receiver which is very useful for audio monitoring. The small size makes it very suitable for traveling and hiding the device in clothes. This system is extremely easy to use. Everything is spared out of the box. You just need to connect it to the camera and you can start recording. You can also set the output gain on the receiver unit from 0 to 12 decibels. All units have a display. On transmitters you can see the information about the connection, signal strength, battery indicator and audio levels. On the receiver you can also see levels from both transmitters, the output gain for both units, stereo slash mono icon and battery indicator. This system works on 2.4 GHz frequency, so we don't need any permission to use it anywhere. You also have an option to switch between mono and stereo mode on the receiver unit. The volume for each unit can be still adjusted even in mono mode. The battery life on both transmitter and receiver units is rated for 5 hours, which is pretty realistic value. Both can be charged through USB-C even while they are being used, so you can basically get unlimited battery life. And now let's take a look at some audio samples. So this is sample number one, the receiver unit is plugged straight into Sony a7 III and I'm using the microphone integrated in the transmitter unit. As I found out, this system is outputting extremely strong signal. I've set the mic level in Sony a7 III to 2 and I have set the gain on the receiver unit to 3. Then I have optimized this sample to minus 23 LUFS by raising or lowering it by this value. For example, the Panasonic GH5 has much stronger preamp than Sony A7 III, so on that one I was hitting the limiter all the time. For Sony and Canon this will be fine, but for Panasonic I would appreciate the possibility to adjust the gain by negative values. For the reference, this is Rode Wireless Go. The receiver unit is still plugged into Sony A7 III and I'm using the mic integrated in the transmitter unit. Wireless Go is not outputting such a strong signal, so I've set the mic level in A7 III to 10 and I've set the gain on the receiver to the middle setting. Again, I've optimized this sample to minus 23 LUFS by raising it or lowering it by the value that you can see on the screen. So this is sample number 3. The Boom XD receiver is still plugged straight into Sony A7 III, but now I'm using the mic that comes in D2 package. The gain in Sony A7 III is still set to plus 2, and the gain in the receiver unit is set to plus 3. Again, I've optimized this sample to minus 23 LUFS 
by raising or lowering it by the amount that you can see on the screen. I think that the overall sound quality is very good. As I have said, I am not an expert, so you can judge that from the samples. I like how it sounds and I definitely wouldn't hesitate to use it for my production or interviews. As I mentioned, it outputs very hot signal, so make sure that your camera or recorder has an option to lower the mic input level. On Sony and Canon it will be completely fine, with GH5 I was hitting the limiter. The price for this kit should be $269 according to my pre-release information, there will be a link in the description where you can see the current price. At that price I think that it is a very good value. For that price you will get two receiver units and very decent lav mic, which is a good deal in my opinion. The main reason to get this over similar products for me personally is just the fact that you can get this kit with two receivers. Also very important thing for me personally is that it is plug and play, there is no setting gap or anything else. That means that this tiny kit is usable for interviews, which makes it somewhat unique, the performance is very good, so I can recommend it. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.